Hello, in this video, I want to explain what we like about Malaysia. So, I've lived here for a year now, and it's starting to feel more like home to me. First, I'd like to share with you why my kids love Malaysia. So, would you guys tell me what you like about Malaysia? Okay, I love the... International school. Yes. And, and I'm really excited to go to mm -hmm. year one. And mm. I think you misspelled the five. I love Mauritius fruit. <laughs> You like tropical fruit, too? Eh? Yes. What kind of fruit? Um, apple. Apple. <laughs> um, mango. Mango. It's not mango season right now, right? Um, yes. Mm. And I also like that we can swim. All year round. Yeah, all year round. So obviously they like the tropical fruit and the fact they can swim all year round. I think when they say they like it here, they really mean it because initially we were just going to be here for a year, but we have extended our stay and it's been more than one year without going back to Japan even once. So now I'd like to share my thoughts. First and foremost, food. I think food is one of the most important factors when you live outside of your home country because most of the time that's what you miss the most. Well, at least for us. Here we enjoy local food like nasi lema, bakute, and banana leaf curry, etc. Also, I cook daily and the kind of vegetables that are sold here is quite familiar with what I used to buy in Japan, such as radish, cucumber, ginger, etc. We used to consume quite a bit of pork in Japan, but surprisingly, I don't feel as deprived as I thought. The next one is that people are friendly, especially to kids. This actually happened only a couple of days after arriving to Malaysia, but my son says, Mom, I noticed something, and he goes, people here look at me and smile, which he rarely experienced back when we were living in Tokyo. Here, people are very generous to children, and it really makes me feel happy as a parent. Whereas in Japan, there's always this pressure to parents, especially moms, to properly discipline kids so that they don't misbehave. Not just to children, but people here in general are quite friendly and relaxed. I rarely see irritated people here, and I think that is one of the reasons different cultures can coexist in Malaysia. Which is related to the third reason, Diversity. I feel Malaysia is like no other when it comes to diversity. Since we moved, we had the chance to experience not only Malaysian culture, but also Chinese culture and Indian culture, and a mixture of those cultures such as Peranakan culture. Coming from such a homogeneous country, it always awes me that such different cultures can coexist without causing major frictions. So, even if I live here as a foreigner, I don't feel like I'm totally out of place. It's like you can embrace your own culture and values and everybody is okay with it as long as you respect each other. Of course it helps that we're from another Asian country, but I think people here are very used to having different cultures around. So the next reason is weather. I kind of miss the distinct four seasons in Japan, but I really like the fact that the rain here is often predictable. Here, the sky kind of uh, gets gloomy and shortly it starts raining, but it only does for about uh, half an hour or so, and it's quite predictable. I also like the cool breeze afterwards. Whereas in Japan, especially in June, it can rain all day long for days, and when it rains, the air gets really muggy afterwards. So, those are the reasons why we like Malaysia.
Of course, there are other practical reasons, such as lower tax rates and organized infrastructures, etc., that attracts people from all over the world. But to me, food, friendly people, diversity, and mild weather are the biggest factors. So if you are considering relocating to Malaysia, you should definitely give it a try. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you like the content. See you!